Hello guys, Jared here. Um, time has flown, hasn't it? Excuse me, but um, ever since I stepped foot inside, ever since the first video I posted back in AIT in, for the army, shit has sure gotten crazy some. From the normal stuff, from nearly freezing in Virginia, in January to sweating my ass off in Georgia uh, jumping out of a fake door and then jumping out of a plane in a less than a week later and then lastly to be sitting in the middle of North Carolina uh, with my first financial mistake in my life that I very much love and, of, and appreciate and Pretty much doing the job I was taught how to do, fixing vehicles up, and making sure we don't freaking die. Same with this thing. But, let's change the subject. Act 485 subscribers. That is something I have never, ever expected to hit. Well, I already missed the 400 subscriber mark, but uh, if we hit 500, I'll be impressed. But, um, I don't know. This truck, well... I'm actually impressed that I managed to make it this far just as a just doing random stuff on YouTube posting my surroundings but overall it's been doing good just like my truck right here it's pretty interesting but um all I have to say is I'm really happy how everything's kind of been laid out for me though damn auto focus but um I'm really happy. I keep repeating myself. God dang it. But, um, other than that, other than my military career, this week, I'm, hopefully, I'll be doing some more videos very soon about fit getting this thing properly fixed up. Up, and more than likely, hopefully, I'm gonna be playing, and this, and then my next set of videos with this truck will hopefully involve pulling the front end off. Just pulling off the fenders, replay, I'm gonna, Replace the uh, wheel wells that are under here because they're pretty much rotted off. Change the suspension, the shocks, and the process. Oh, someone's alarm. Change the shocks. See about getting some shackles for this thing as well. And I may think about doing some modifications to this truck as well. Something not really, I something I shouldn't really start doing so early. E, even though as the condition it sits, it needs some help. Another thing I need to look into is getting this truck kind of ready for possibly its final. I'm still unsure whether or not to sell this truck or fix it up. Fix it up to the point where I'm satisfied and then sell it. Or keep it. I don't know. I prefer keeping it. Because one, this is a very unique... I like this body style of truck. I like the body style. It's very unique. Eek. I don't even... Though... It's seen better days, rust, missing parts, kind of botched work. Hopefully it doesn't end up like this Silverado right here. Well, no, this, uh, G this 1500 right here, guy in our company, hit a Tacoma, but he's all right. All right, airbags didn't deploy, he's safe. Unlike me, where my truck is literally held, uh, held together or with bungee cords and zip ties and duct tape, but all is well, all is well. But, yeah, in the future, I'll start trying to get this truck actually fixed up. Go on. I, there is a website I found online, Ein, which I found a while back, that my grandfather directed me to because he actually helped me find this website. I, uh, the website's called, I think, LMC Truck. Yeah. I think they make, they have parts for Dodge, Ford, and I, if I recall, Chevy pickups. Ups all the way up to the 8 from the 40s all the way i don't know how far but a uh, it's kind of a unintentional sponsor but this guy this channel this uh, thing is pretty much a catalog for any of your old vehicles it's a really good source for parts and a bit of ma uh, i guess you could say maintenance as well well i don't know but it's it has what i'm going to be doing in the next couple hopefully next few years i have this truck is um uh trying removing the rust 
fixing fixing the interior up, fixing the wiring, getting the wiring all squared away, and uh, hopefully making this thing more of a beast than it is a bust. Because this thing's pretty much, well, it runs. It still runs, fires all eight. It hates cold weather, like every other carbureted vehicle. Oh, with a natural aspirated and a manual old thermostatic choke. But what I'm concerned is this truck is going to be sitting for about three weeks with no love. Well, more or less two weeks because I'll be two and a half weeks because I'll be arriving sometime in the middle of the, those three weeks. But that's a different story for later. In other words, I'd like to thank y'all for the support that I've y'all have given you. <laughs> One of my videos literally has over 15,000 views, which is like crazy, even though I don't, that gun, well, that weapon itself no longer exists. It's pretty much, I have it, it's been sacrificed for other parts, and, but though, in the next uh, 24 hours or so, I'll probably post another video stating that I'm alive, and I'll be very tired by then. I'm currently staying up all all tonight so I can do this so I can take a plane tomorrow at 6 in the morning but getting there early so I don't have to waste any time but though I'm gonna miss the, I'm gonna miss this thing I'm gonna miss this thing a lot though I am getting a new car that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop work I'm gonna get rid of this thing but I am gonna cease to work on it, cease to drive it and start fixing this thing up and getting the repairs it very well deserves and needs. But I've wasted enough time talking. Uh, okay. My name's Jared, and I'll see you later. Peace.